everybody. Welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching. We are going to go pick up a lot, a lot of push mowers right now. And when I mean a lot, I mean I'm talking like 30 plus here. So uh, we'll see if this is the biggest lot I have ever gotten in terms of push mowers. I know that it's the biggest used lot that I've ever bought. I bought some many years ago and it was 29 and I didn't pay but maybe a couple hundred dollars for them. I mean it was very a very good deal but they were really far gone. Some of them were in like the 60s and the 70s and they have just been sitting for 20 plus years. Um, these look like they're in a lot better shape. They look like they're all complete. I know that there are two uh, gray John Deere's. I believe those have the Kawasaki on them. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's at least two of them. A lot of self-propel stuff. Um, which is really going to be really nice. I think for the price that he's asking, I'm going to get a few a few of these uh, fixed and uh, be able to get out pretty quickly with them uh, making my money back. It's only going to be $350 for the entire lot. It's at least 30 push mowers plus extra decks and etc etc. So uh, let me turn left and run I appreciate it. So we're gonna have a good, uh, hopefully a good trip. I'm gonna go to my parents and get the big trailer. So uh, once I get that, get them all loaded, I'll rejoin y'all. And uh, we'll see how this, this, this experience goes. It's gonna be kind of cool, I think, so stay tuned. All right, y'all, we just got back home with them. I didn't feel comfortable driving and talking with this big of a load on. Um, so let's get right to it. Let's see what we found. I think we're in good shape, guys. 35. Roughly push mowers for $350. Let's get out of here. Very smooth ride home. Only about, what was it, about 35 minutes that I had to drive, and I took it pretty slow. So I got a bunch of uh, um, good decks with no engines, and I got plenty of engines here, so we're in good shape when it comes to that. Um, sorry for the sun. A lot of baggers, maybe about eight, eight baggers or so. Um, in here I've got a couple of push mowers with engines we'll look at them in a minute but here's everything like the whole trailer stacked too high it's pretty ridiculous but hey it works and uh, it got me home and uh, nothing fell off to my knowledge I didn't get any horn honks although I got some strange looks so um, again a bunch of a bunch of good stuff here is that a vector <laughs> That's a Vector Tecumseh. This is only the third one I think I've ever had. I'm never going to find that cover right there. <laughs> but, again, i got a bunch to play with here. Uh, a bunch of little basic push mower stuff, like 21-inch MTD, 21-inch Craftsman. Um, most, I mean, they're like 90% complete. See, like, this one's missing a wheel assembly. Here's a self-propelled yard man that's a... Uh, um, a power more engine I haven't had these one of these in years an eager one craftsman self propelled the wheels were locked up on it um, see like stuff like missing carburetors and air filter covers and stuff but I'll piece together a bunch of stuff and I'll we'll make it work um, and these are the rougher ones these are the ones on the front that are rougher because um, I put those on first he kind of had them separated into two different categories ones that were rougher than others ones that were nicer big brush cutter right there um, I call them big weed eater but um, again some basic push mower stuff I do need some of these recoils I have one mower in the lean-to that all it needs is a recoil and it should run for me a bunch of quantum stuff and everything held straps are still tight and they'll be that way for a little while um, the big ticket items, I believe, are these John Deere's. Hopefully they will uh, stand up. They're in good shape. They're both 14 SBs. Um, 
Kawasaki engine on them, which is exactly what I thought. Um, you get into the ones that are mildly better back here because that's the way he had them separated. Um, it's a 450 series Briggs Murray, um, the Walmart mower. I mean, that's a 80 to $90 mower just right there if I get it running. Um, Quantum Weed Eater, that's probably a $60 mower. And of course, some self propel stuff and whatnot. Those straps held. I'm very pleased with how all the straps and everything held. A double, triple, quadruple checked everything and it didn't go anywhere. So, Toro with a Tecumseh, I've got the bagger for. Um, probably just need to find a wheel and a carburetor and hopefully that'll, that'll be all that needs. Um, a lot of stuff wrong with cables and whatnot on these, which is in, which is what I anticipated. But um, I can take self propels off, and these will still be like a seventy or eighty dollar mower. I mean, I'm not really losing anything for the price I got all this for. Complete quantum yard machines. Again, a lot of decent stuff here. Old Lowe's brand push mower. Don't really see those around much anymore. Um, ace push mower so we've got a lot of good stuff here um and then you have a lot of the cheap stuff that i can get like 30 bucks for 40 bucks for just for somebody needs a cheap push mower if i have gas tank assemblies or something along those lines um there's another vector to come so how about that two in one haul five and a half horsepower vector wow some some rather rare items here too. <laughs> a couple more Tecumseh stuff. Here's a regular Tecumseh. These are these are great engines. They they'll run, it seems like all day long here. I just had to find a primer bulb or something along those lines for it because the primer bulb's bad. I mean I have a don't get me wrong, I have a lot to uh a lot to fix here. But I also have a lot of items that I should be able to turn around somewhat quickly here. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'll be able to get my money back pretty quickly, especially if I get them John Deere's going. That pays for the lot right there. And then you probably got another, I, I can't even guess, guys, probably about another seven or $800 worth of push mowers on top of that. Dare I say? We shall, we'll see though, guys. Um, going to be pretty good, I think. But I don't even know how many years on this trailer. But we, y'all want to count with me? Probably not, but here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one under there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll count the brush cutter as one. That's eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. From what I can count, I have three more with engines on them in the truck here. So 33, 34, 35, and then about eight baggers and about eight or nine decks. So less than $10 an item here, which is awesome. Um, I have a lot to uh, a lot to work with here. But again, the big, the big, big ticket items. Of course, we got some self-propel stuff here, which is good, but it's like missing a cover. So I have to source a cover if it runs and et cetera, et cetera. And I know the power more stuff is not the easiest to find parts for. Um, but again, you got a lot of good items here. This will this will suffice me for the rest of the season and probably beyond. Give me a good base to start next year. Um, mower wise, I'm in decent shape with riders right now. I got two ready to sell. I'm out on the road tomorrow, but the rest of the week I should be able to sell, 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 sell. I should be at home, hopefully, the rest of the week to uh, fix and sell. So hope, hopefully I can get a couple of these running pretty quickly. We'll find out. The wasp makes a nest inside of the John Deere already as I just...
pulled them in not 20 minutes ago. So let me know what y'all think. Um, oddly enough, this is the same guy that I got a lot smaller lot from about four years ago, not too long after I started the channel. Um, got a bunch of bagger items and whatnot. I think I paid him $200 for the lot. This is a lot better deal, though. So, a lot better deal. Um, trailer did well. Truck did excellent. We just cruised on and made it home. And uh, got a couple of strange looks past a bunch of uh, <laughs> police officers and whatnot. It's like they all come out whenever you have a bunch of stuff on the trailer like this. But that's the thing, the presentation about it is we look we look like we're neat and we look like we're strapped down and that really does make a big difference um, whenever you're out on the road um, so yeah a lot of videos to come on these guys this is content for months for me so um, we'll get to it here over the coming weeks and we're just gonna just crank them out as we go um, get them fixed get them sold as fast as we can because uh, I need to uh, to clean out my yard, clean out my area, and uh, to satisfy customer demand, honestly. So thank you all for watching. Let me know what you all think of this haul. Um, not many people that can go out and get a bunch of stuff like this, so um, I do have the advantage to that. So thank you again. I'll catch you all on the next repair video. Again, Wednesdays and Sundays right here, 8 p.m., a bunch of other content during the week as it warrants. See you then.